Hello, my name is Chris Hart and I am from Unstuck Learning Design and I'm going to share with you um, a thinking canvas today, specifically a thinking canvas called a Kanban board, which is designed to help learners to manage their own learning, like in a project management style. Um, it's available, the template's available at um, bit.ly forward slash thinking canvas. Please jump on there. Um, if you want to make a copy of the, all of these canvases and use them yourselves, just go to file make a copy of the entire presentation. If you um, don't use Google um, or G Suite and you want to um, download it, for example, as a PowerPoint, you can go and download a Microsoft PowerPoint and use it um, on a different platform. This is designed really for um, G Suite and Classroom and the way that you would distribute them. All of that information is um, here on the first couple of slides. Uh, but what I want to do is focus in on one particular slide type, which is this one called a Project Kanban Board. You'll see it's really just a kind of to-do list. We've got to do, doing, needs feedback, acting on feedback, ready to submit. So kind of like a Trello board, if you've used Trello before. Here, as, in, as a teacher, I might actually put the task chunks down for students. So they may have a certain number of things to work on a project or over a period of time, especially in distance learning. Obviously, this is a really useful um, tool for you to keep track on students' learning as well as to help them to manage it themselves. So these task chunks you could pre-fill or you could work with students to say, well, what are the important tasks for you and get them to create multiple um, task chunks themselves. Obviously, you could have maybe only three or four for um, younger students, or but you may go up to, I'm going to actually show you an example of 10 for a big project. So let me show you the ex that example now. Um, this is a design thinking can digital canvas here, so just really a way to support learners um, going through the design thinking process. I'm not going to go into this in too much detail. I am going to just show you how you can get learners to manage this project themselves. Um, so on the Kanban board for students here, I've actually pre-filled all of the tasks and numbered them, and they're all in the to-do column right now. But if, for example, I've got students working on their challenge statement, they're kind of going doing, you'll notice that here there is a little hyperlink, and all I've done is um, highlight the text, inserted a link, which is um, control K or insert link, and then I've linked it to a slide in this presentation. So um, what I've done is linked this one to the, the challenge statement slide, which is slide four down here. So it's just literally the next slide, um, but it just helps students to know exactly where they're supposed to be going. So maybe they complete their challenge statement and then they want some feedback. So they can then drag this um, post-it note, if they've got better dragging skills than me, drag this post-it note along it and needs feedback. And one of the beautiful things which I love about um, using G Suite is that I can actually insert a comment. So um, uh, insert comment. And over here, I can actually ask my teacher to give me some feedback and have a, have a look at this. So I can put in plus, and then if I um, get my, uh, this is actually my wife, um, if I um, get her to, if I use plus and then her email address, that's going to flag up to her. Can you give me some feedback, please? So that would go, uh, that comment would actually um, send, trigger an email and send an email to her saying that, um, with a link back to this board saying, I, I want some feedback on it. I'm not going to do that because she's sick of getting those emails. Once I've got that feedback, I might act on it. And then, yep, yeah, I'm ready to submit. And you can see how you would start kind of managing your learning or getting your students to manage their learning um, by dragging the cards around. So you can see what they're up to, what they haven't done yet, what they're waiting for feedback on, et cetera, et cetera. I hope that's useful. Just a quick reminder, in order to get access to the template boards, of which there's Kanban board, but there are tons of other stuff like Google and on Google questions, hexagonal thinking, Venn diagrams, drag and drop, et cetera, et cetera. Um, all you need to do is go to bit.ly forward slash thinking canvas and make a copy of the slides for yourself. I'd love to hear how you get on with them. So if you want to drop me an email at chris at unstucklearning.com, that'd be wonderful. Or tweet me at cheart and let me know if these are useful, if you'd like some other boards created. Um, I'd love to uh, do that. Okay, good luck and uh, stay safe.